Hello guys, welcome back to another scratch tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to make 2D car physics. So how is this going to work is this car right here will have two wheels and it will we can tr control it with our arrow keys and it will fall down just like that hill climb racing game. So um yeah, let's Get straight right into it. Um, okay, it will also fall too. Though. Okay, so we have three sprites here. We have a car, which is a car I found on Scratch. I found this. Someone made it. Um, all these assets will be linked in the description below. This is the wheel. It's a nice looking wheel. Um, this is the ground. We have a lot of ground costumes. My personal one is this one. It looks pretty great for testing. So, um, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay. So, our first code here is going to be our one green flag clicked and then we will put in a go to x that's important go to x negative 150 y negative 1 no y 180 we want to spawn it from the top so, and now we will make a bunch of variables and lists. We have offset x, we have offset y, we have speed, we have uh, three lists here, car, wheel and wheel 2. So the three of these lists are all for all sprites so we can connect it with the wheels. And all these variables are for all sprites too. Make sure you do that. Okay. After that we'll put in a replace item 1 of car. With x position. We'll replace item 2 of car. With y position. And we'll replace item 3 of car. With direction. So let's test that I'm pretty sure it won't work because there's no um, there's nothing in it make sure before we do this script we have to add three stuff to the car and in the wheels we have to add three two and on the wheel two we'll add three make sure you do this if not your whole code will not work after that we'll put in a wait 0 0.1 seconds we'll put in a forever i'll just point in direction 90 no i'll not, I'll not do that okay forever we will go to x and y where is it our offset x and offset y no, it's not that. It's item 1 and item 2 of wheel 1. Like that. Okay. Um, and then we're going to do... Make a new block here. We'll name it point towards. Add an input x, add an input y. Run without screen refresh. And we'll point in towards, duplicate this, and we'll put in wheel number 2 and wheel 2. Okay, so after that, we will move offset x steps. We'll turn left 90 degrees. We'll duplicate that, move offset y, and we'll turn right 90 degrees and after that 
remove this and we will duplicate this and put it right in the bottom just like that oh and one more thing we need to make a new block named movement run without screen refresh and put it right before the three scripts just like that Okay, so now in the point towards, we will put in a point in direction. Um, we'll add in a plus. And here we'll put in this right here, and we'll put in a tan of. We'll put in a divide here. Minus and minus x minus x position y minus y position. Okay, and we'll add that with 180 times. Uh, we'll put in. A more than our y position is more than y like that okay so now we'll move to the movement script we'll set the speed here to zero put in an if or Go to the lists and wheel 1 contains 0 or our wheel 2 contains 0. We will set our speed to floor. Floor of... What is that? Direction minus 90 divided by 10, just like this. Okay, so after that, in the bottom, we'll put in an if else and an if. We'll put in or. key left arrow or our A key is pressed then we'll change our speed by negative 7 else if our right arrow or D key pressed then we'll change our speed by 7 and right in the bottom we'll put in a move where is it Wait, move speed steps okay so basically this is just for the car we'll do yeah nothing happens here it will just lag okay so basically nothing happens but something will happen in our next part of the series we'll be working on the wheels so make sure you hit that subscribe button to get a notification for that tutorial so thank you for watching please leave a like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye